The streets of Denmark's capital were filled with demonstrators on a day that saw a rift developing between developed countries and the developing world over a global warming pact. As protesters held signs aloft demanding action, the European Union, Japan and Australia joined the U.S. in criticizing a draft agreement that says major developing nations such as China and India must rein in greenhouse gases but only if they have outside financing. Developed countries want the emerging nations to limit emissions with or without financial help. Police estimated the demonstration size at 40,000, while organizers put the figure at 100,000. Police said they rounded up between six and 700 people in a preventive action when some of the demonstrators threw stones through the windows of the former stock exchange and foreign ministry buildings. Police used plastic handcuffs to get control of the protesters, then separated them and lined them up seated on the ground before boarding them on buses. Protesters cheered as the buses pulled away. There were people that did nothing and now they have to sit here for four hours on their knees on the ground and I think it's just kind of um, repression to show don't do anything against the state. A police spokesman said one officer suffered minor injuries and one protester was injured too. They uh, threw uh, fireworks and stones uh, against the police officers, so we have no other thing to do than uh, try to separate them from the huge uh, demonstration. Saturday evening, a quieter dememonstration was held, a candlelight vigil attended by Archbishop Desmond Tutu. For those who think that the rich are going to escape, <laughs> the mostly peaceful demonstrations in Copenhagen provided the centerpiece of a day of environmental activism that stretched from Europe to Asia. One top official at the talks says dealmakers still have a long way to go on a pact. He says difficult issues must still be resolved on emissions, finance and transparency. Sandy Kozel, The Associated Press.